Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today I wanted to show you this little thing. It is an adapter that has allowed me to screen record my camera screen, if you like. That's probably not making much sense, but if I turn this on and I want to show you the settings on this in a video, it becomes really tricky. I've got to get this camera to film that. So I've worked out a way to go around that and Basically with this and the HDMI cable plugged into here and then into the computer I can record it straight into QuickTime. So I just wanted to share it with you in case it's something you're struggling with too. So I wasn't sure what I even needed but I did a bit of googling and worked out um, and it was a fairly cheap card that I've gone with and it seems to work flawlessly at this stage. So let me show you. So basically it comes in this tiny little box. Hold on there's a phone ringing. Oh, it stopped. Um, so yeah, it comes in this little box. I'll show you the back as well. And inside there is a little pamphlet, which I want to show you in case you want to see the instructions. Hopefully this will come up. Let me just move my fingers. And the other side. And that is the adapter itself. So it's a little I'll try and track my eyes but yeah the brand is Oxlaw but I don't know if um, other companies I think make similar things but so one end is just a normal standard HDMI and the other one is a USB-C uh, which is what I needed for my uh, laptop which is an M1 MacBook Pro yep uh, so yeah the way it plugs in is you need your regular cable so I'm not very organized here am I you sure uh, which is this one for the Fuji X-T4. So it's a mini, oh, I always get these mixed up, HDMI and HDMI micro, isn't it? It's not mini. So anyway, that goes into the side port on the camera here, into the HDMI port, which is a bit fiddly. I feel like I'm going to drop the camera, but let me just plug it in. So it goes in there, and this end will go into the adapter so that way and then this end will go into my MacBook so I might jump on that side onto the computer side now and I will show you what I'm doing there it was so easy to set up that I couldn't believe it that's why I wanted to make this video so I'll see you on the other side all right, so here we are all plugged in into the USB-C port with those cords that I just mentioned. And now I'm going to flick over to the Mac and I'm going to launch QuickTime Player. If it's not on the bar there, it's usually in the Applications menu. So I'm just launching that. Then I'm going up to File, New Movie Recording. And that should magically connect us just by doing that. And it has. If it doesn't work, which I found on my first go, it was actually down here that it was set to FaceTime camera, to the camera at the top. So I just put onto USB 3, which is the capture card, and the same for the microphone. And we'll just record now for a little test run. And I'll flick on the camera to the menu, which is the function that I really want to enable to be able to record the menu off the camera. And I'll press stop. You can see it flicked onto here. And then I'll do file at the top there and save. We'll put on the desktop, save, and that should appear down here and it has. So I'll launch that and that launches the window that we just record the recording and I'll do playback. Just put that volume down and you can see that it'll flick over to the to when I press the menu button. So it recorded both the screen that it sees and the menu which is great. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. If you've got any questions, just ask me down in the comments. I will leave a link to the product if I can find it um, on Amazon. And if not, I will just leave a few links to similar products, but I haven't tested those. And yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.